Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. You know, these weeks of Easter, we get the Easter message in the different accounts, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, multiple, multiple times. So again, we'll, we'll hear that great good news again today, the, um, the Doubting Thomas narrative, just the idea that it's too amazing to believe, and yet it's true, and Jesus invites us to, to know and believe. Um, we're going to sing Matins today, our old friend again with us. Um, we'll do it kind of just as it is, um, regular Te Deum. There is a special responsory for the Easter season, though. So we'll do the Easter responsory, get in a couple of extra alleluias. And I refer you to page 219, front part of the hymnal. We'll st stand as we sing Matins. <coughs> O oh Lord, open my lips. Make haste, O oh God, to deliver me. Blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please be seated for the hymn.
Gospel reading for this week from John chapter 20, beginning at verse 19. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. And Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of anyone, they are forgiven. If you withhold forgiveness from anyone, it is withheld. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the hands in the mark of the nails, in his hands the mark of the nails, and place my finger into the mark of the nails, and place my hand into his side, I will never believe. Eight days later, his disciples were inside again, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Put out your hand, place it into my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. O oh Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim his salvation from day to day. <clears throat> now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that sleep. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We sing now our canticle, the Tadeum will stand as we sing.
We continue with the prayers on page 227. We sing together the Kyrie, the call for God's mercy, as we pray, and following each petition of the prayers, we speak. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory <clears throat> Almighty God, grant that we who have celebrated the Lord's resurrection may by your grace confess in our life and conversation that Jesus is Lord and God. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Gracious Father, this day we call upon your name to give comfort to those who mourn. We pray with two families in our community with Professor J.J. Barnett and his family, his sister passed away after suffering many health difficulties. We pray also with student Kayla Remmel and her family. Her grandmother passed away yesterday. Heavenly Father, for these two families, we pray a peace that passes understanding that they would look toward you and be drawn to the comfort which comes from you and your promise that those who trust in Jesus as the Savior indeed live forever. Bless them throughout these next days and weeks in this season of the resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for our community for Concordia, where so many serve you faithfully. We thank you again for our student workers as we celebrate Student Worker Week. Lord, um, grant your blessings on all who serve. Uh, many and so many faithful, but um, but behind the scenes ways that you are glorified in all the details of our work through Jesus Christ, our Lord. O Lord, our heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you've safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. <clears throat> The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <clears throat> <clears throat> 